Hello, my name is Walter, and I just came back from watching it. That's right, uh, it came out uh, in my country uh, just yesterday, so I went to watch it this uh, today uh, because you know I knew there wasn't gonna be much crowd because it's still a weekday and it's a working day, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it, it, it's definitely better than the miniseries. I remember re watching the miniseries and going. Oh damn, is this what I was scared of when I was a little kid? Because I, I, you know, when I was a kid, I, I used to be pretty scared of it. But I also kind of got really bored of it real fast. Uh, I think I think they really build up the the atmosphere in Derry, and it is explained that something did happen in Derry that you know that caused this to keep happening but only 27 years though so it's kind of like the Haley's comment of the apocalypse ha happening and all of that so that is the, the short end of it uh, I'll be getting into spoilers so if you don't want that please click out of the video but for those of us who've seen the original min miniseries can't really be spoiled anymore because we already have the original min miniseries um, and also uh, you know, if you don't want certain plot points to be revealed, please click out now because this is going to be a full-on spoiler review after this. So, I'm just going to give you a fake out here. Pennywise is actually Kylo Ren. No. Uh, <laughs> but yes, that was the final warning for you guys to click out, whatever. But, uh... Here it is, the full on spoiler review, okay, so uh, we got um, the main character whose name escapes me, I do not know, oh Billy, uh, <laughs> just got it, uh, Billy, and then you got the secondary, ter tertiary, uh, and, you know, the supporting cast, um, which is Richie, uh, who is from Stranger Things, I, I do know that, and uh, you know, you got the, the fat kid who I think is from Stranger Things as well I'm not really sure um, and then there's the random hot chick which you know you know every 80s kid group needs a random hot chick um, and also one more you know token black kid uh, I'm sorry but you know that's that's what it is in the old 80s uh, style as well but in this one he kind of adds in some stuff you know he kind of adds in some levity i mean like not really levity the most levity we find is from richie and even then it kind of can get grading at points um and then there's stanley who's kind of an enigma which i thought was pretty good um but i think one of the biggest things they did properly in this one is you know the bully backstory um which we didn't really have in the original Marine series if I remember it correctly even uh, and I don't think I even got that I was supposed to be creeped out by the dad but in this one they did, did it really really well because I was like oh shit yes I'm supposed to be creeped out by the dad like uh, is he sexually abusing her I, I think they were going for that and it definitely seemed so um, because she is very scared of him and all of that and you know when he touches her hair and uh, everything she's like oh look what you made me do um, and of course the the doctor who gives um, the other uh, kid uh, his pills and everything that is the the worry wart uh, I'm just gonna call him the worry ward because I'm bad with names again. I'm telling you guys, I am so bad with names. I'm just like, I don't know what your name again. <laughs> Even in a sketch I did myself, you know, I almost forgot my own character's name. That's how bad I am with names. It's, it's, it's just not, it is not funny, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm so sorry if I butcher anyone's name or whatever but I do remember the girl's name uh, her name is Beverly that's about it um, and uh, you know the I think I, I think the black kid's name is uh, Malcolm no 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 nah, can't be Malcolm I, I don't know <laughs> Mike 
I think it's Mike. I'm not sure. But I know uh, that the bully's name is Bowers. Uh, you know, his last name at least. I, I forget. Oh, Henry. Henry Bowers. Um, and I totally forgot because, like, you know, the been a series I watched it a long time ago when I was like. I remember when I was 18, which is 2014, which is not long ago as well, but you know, it kind of fades from memory. Um, and you know, Tim Carey is a riot. Um, and uh, I just think this, you know, the, the actor who did this is did it so much better. And you know, and in, at some point he is pretty funny and at some points it's pretty scary you know it's it, it is supposed to be the joker i think my my friend put it best uh RF, you know i i i feel quite sad that i couldn't do a review with him but you know it is what it is um and uh you know i, I would really think i would i would really like to hear more about his thoughts actually because you know he, he and I I think you know watched the same mostly the same movies I I haven't watched Kill Bill I haven't finished Godfather I haven't finished uh, Lord of the Rings I, I never watched Matrix oh god I could never get into that um, but uh, in this movie particularly I, I definitely see all the the you know, horror, horror shows, horror genres creeping in, and it's really nice to see again. That house, though, okay, I'm just like either Monster House uh, went to somewhere and like copied the house and like gave it in there, or it's part of a ride. I don't know, but this house legitimately looks like the house. From Monster House, and I'm just like, oh my god, is that a house that every 80s kids know? Like, is that just a mo monster movie trope? I don't know, cause I I never watched too many monster movies, cause I I had a trauma of uh, monster houses since I was two, so uh, that that is the strongest memory I know from when I was two, is my dad brought me uh, to a haunted house, and I was in really uh, cause I didn't know what was going on as well and I was freaked out by these people trying to, you know, get at me and I was like, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, father issues. Um, and speaking of father issues, uh, Beverly does have a lot of father issues and also the, uh, the, bil uh, the bully Henry Bowers, uh, but I kind of like the, the, the father's argument, you know, you want to see a paper man crumble and he... You know, it, it, it isn't a good way, but also it is kind of a way to just like take away that facade. Uh, but it, I, I kind of knew that the the and again spoiler territory. Uh, I kind of knew that the children's TV show that was always in the background was gonna turn into the clown somehow. But I like I like the second layer of the twist because it is the way to push Henry Bowers into becoming his instrument ultimately because when he becomes uh, an adult and for those who watch the miniseries we know that he's gonna be more involved in fucking up the other's uh, life. Um, and uh, it's gonna be, you know, obviously 27 years later, which they told us all. Um, and I, I don't. Let me think. I, I think for me, you know, Billy is a very, very, like, not to say whiny, I mean, like, you know, he's a kid, whatever. But I feel like, you know, he. he does blame himself a lot and I think you know it does come with the grief and all of that um, and I think all, all of this you know could be explained as a kid trying to go through uh, personal grief and then he meets other kids who are going through grief and well uh, as well and you know they meet their their nightmares you know along the way but they, they stick through together because they have each other and you know it's, it's very much about that um, and also just Stephen King wanted a spider as well uh, from Nostalgia Critic for those who, who of you who didn't know that. 
Uh, uh, he said that. Uh, anyway, uh, and uh, I think that you know, for me, the the stronger characters were the ones that did not get so much screen time in the last one. Uh, although Stanley is still pretty weak, I felt that uh, he was still pretty weak. Um, and then there was the worry wart, uh, Eddie. Uh, the smart mouth Richie was a bit grating on me at times, but that's what you gotta do. Uh, the fat kid, I'm not really sure about it. I'm so sorry. We know he's gonna be growing up and, you know, uh, uh, getting into that, uh, and then of course the main character Billy, uh, likes Beverly as well, and that's the whole you know subtext within the plot as well. Um, and I just feel that you know the 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 awkwardness as well kind of plays into this, like the uh, the horror genre as a whole. Like I think the kids did their best to work off of the material and and they did pretty well i think you know the whole uh, atmosphere and you know you can't really go wrong with a with a horror movie genre by the way i'm still waiting for jigsaw uh, apparently uh, it comes out the same day as you guys so just stay tuned for that uh, i i will be um you know uh reviewing that as well uh and uh just getting back into the movie I think that um, it, it is very much about the camaraderie which I thought that they did really really well in this new one uh, in the last one you know I didn't really feel their connection you know I, I felt the most connection between Billy Eddie and Richie not so much uh, Stanley and of course the new kid but that's normal because the new kid and uh, the homeless kid I thought that was just and then just for fun um, but yeah the the atmosphere plays it up I love the stop motion in this I didn't think they would put it in stop motion because most of the trailer I saw CGI and the CGI you know can be a big grading and it is very noticeable and the one big gripe for me is the um, I don't know what you call that but I call that the spaz running you know when he's like <laughs> And then uh, you know uh, comes there, uh, but one of the biggest things for me as well I remember it is yeah there was there were there was no blood there were there was no killing there, there it was sort of like implied but even in like super eight uh, where you know it's basically it as well. Um, you know we see them kind of like being led into the den and kind of like killed in the den so that makes sense uh i i like them giving the the backstory of pennywise as well there is uh some sort of a backstory and uh there is some sort of why these things happened um it usually starts off with it's uh, i think it started off in like the uh like founder era where uh you know there were few people but something happened black magic whatever um and this unholy apparition appeared and uh just who happened uh pennywise was the one who was fooling around i think most likely that's what my thought is maybe they'll go further into that in uh, chapter 2 and there obviously is gonna be a chapter 2 it's already been confirmed um, I definitely think for me uh, what stands out the most is that they try to keep in some of the old stuff but really really does expand it and I think the shots are very beautiful uh, the shots of Maine is very beautiful I think the the girl playing Beverly was really well done uh, uh, and even though I don't really like him uh, Richie was really well done uh, you know my friend looked at me and was like is this really like how we talk to his kids and I was like fuck yeah <laughs> this is how we didn't say it in front of our 
parents or we'll get killed you know literally no no but you know uh, and you know it is very much this wearing you know Here's the, the weirdest thing about it, uh, the movie is, it, it, and it's not even, you know, the US card, because ours uh, is put through our own uh, MPAA rating, and you know, they, they do additional censoring, whatever, and the most uh, stupid censorship for me is that they censored the word asshole, but not the word motherfucker, and I'm like, why don't you censor motherfucker instead of asshole? Like, is asshole just too dirty for you, but motherfucker is fine? Like, I'm just at a loss of words. And uh, they cut the second uh, kissing scene, so Malaysians out there just check out. Uh, there is a second scene, a kissing scene, and they cut that. Um, but uh, the first kissing scene, they didn't cut it. I was like, Wait, 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 wait. Like, you know, the, the, this guy, like, the first guy didn't really get permission to kiss the girl, so... And, it, you know, it can be implied that, you know, he's trying to do CPR on her, blah, 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 but I'm just like, what? Really? Uh, but anyway, it's kids. I don't know why they censored it even, you know, it's just kids. It's not like any kids are going to come in and be like, oh, they're kissing, we can kiss too. I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen I doubt that's ever gonna happen and if that's gonna happen it's probably already happening it's the internet y'all they they got some other bad shit fucked up stuff out there okay till this day I will never forget my first two girls one cup moment okay I clicked out of that as fast as I could I was like what the fuck is this as soon as they Shot in the cup, I was like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, it's worse than 20 Pennywise clowns, okay? And I like that he dances. <laughs> and that's the new version. Coming back to the movie. Uh, yeah, so he dances, and I was like, oh, okay, there he is. Pennywise the dancing clown, there. <laughs> Fun times, huh? Fun days, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was genuinely creepy, and it added to the to the amount of fear that we were supposed to have. Uh, I felt the you know the very real dangers that they were gonna go through because of the the house, the creepy abandoned old old house, and uh, Eddie got a broken arm from that, and it's like oh shit. That is legit, okay, that is not some clowns doing, it is the fucking kids doing, but, you know, they think they're look seeing clowns. Um, and the weird thing is that the, 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 the adults can't really see the clowns, you know, doings and ongoings and stuff like that, which always, like, really, really surprised me. Uh, and also like makes me ask the question like why doesn't the parents see it or like is it just people who grew up with the the creature then only they can see because like they're gonna come back as adults and i don't really know if they're gonna be more you know psychological with it or whatever but it is gonna have more of the clown as well like because like I remember in the original miniseries we did see the clown more as well so are we gonna see more of the clown? I, I don't know but that's the good thing about you know reboots is that you can do something similar to the old one but also build on it and make it better and I thought that was really cool so um that's about it actually uh nothing much to say uh i think i would give this overall actually a 7.4 because this was a really solid uh horror movie you know it got me jumping up you know i didn't 
I didn't eat much popcorn because I was like, oh, okay, this is a pretty good movie on its own. I don't really need to eat popcorn because I know popcorn movies when I when I see them. And this wasn't. I was always like on my edge of the seat. I was like, what's gonna happen next? It, it is uh, some some scenes I did guess. You know when my my friend said is uh, yeah it bumps the head and I was like yeah that was in the trailer so you know. And then uh, you know, and yeah, the ending is uh, you know the um, the, guy, the the main Billy getting up to kiss Beverly. Really. I was like, yeah, okay, that's a given. I'll give you that. But uh, other than that, I I didn't really think of. They didn't. They didn't. And this is this is a plus for the movie because they didn't do much jump scares in this. It is all the atmosphere making you feel creeped out, making you feel like something's there, but they never do. And then when you're in a closed quarter areas like the basement, that was one. Uh, then the toilet, and then um, okay the. The house, Ben house, wasn't really close quarters because it was like the backyard, but I kind of considered that as well. Um, and then you know the the part where he goes into his father's office. There's the 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 woman, screaming face woman. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, and uh, the last one is in the. Um, in the hall of the like records and stuff like that that was that was really cool so yeah anyway um yeah so that was a real surplus for me i think the actor of this new pennywise did a really good job uh i i really love the cgi that they did with his uh, with his eyes the animation that they did with his eyes i'm just like oh my god that is really fucking creepy and you know it always looked real i never thought it was fake but the spaz running i was just like ah it's getting a bit old um but when he did the like the jumps to in front of them and everything and this movie does not hold back okay like there is blood and gore so if you do not like blood if you do not like gore do not go watch this movie because you'll just be sick like because there is gonna be lots of gore in this like i swear to god i'm not kidding like there is a full scene in a red room because they, they they're trying to portray that there is and blood everywhere and the fucking light bulb changed to red as well because the blood spills out everywhere right so it's just red and then you see the contrast because the 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 hallway is yellow uh you know because of the yellow light and it's just so fucking creepy because they are in the fucking doorway right and it's the back of them their shirts are yellow but the whole front of them is red and that's just so good this is so perfectly done. I was just like, oh my god, that is top class in cinematography. I'm just like, oh shit, good job, man, good job, um, who, whomever you are, man. Really salute you, man. Wow, and the stop motion, man. I just can't stop talking about the stop motion because it's just like, ah, oh. the, the the amount of time that they did with this like puppet, like you know, it is sort of like this puppet. But also you can see some practical effects with the, some of them are just zombies because they're just like, what are you looking for, Eddie? And some of them are just like, we want your soul. Not exactly, it's we want your soul, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. It's uh, 24 minutes, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a new video, and the way you can tell it is this uh, little text box here. I still don't know where to point because my physics is fucking bad. Okay, guys, so here it is. All right, this is a new text box. Shing. Uh, it says my brand name, so this uh distincts it from the others. You know as it is with other videos so that when you guys see it generated in you know youtube as well uh, you know or google search it is gonna be differentiated so that you guys don't be confused like you're just like wait isn't this asha walter reacts as well or asha walter reviews whatever he uses 
I I did put a PSA about it, but you know now, now I'm thinking about it. I'm just like, you know what? I can do my own designs. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's about it. And uh, stay tuned for Bojack. It's gonna be, be, be tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's about it. And I will see you in the next video. Most probably Bojack. Okay, guys, see you then.